Celtic midfielder David Turnbull has insisted that the Parkhead players are well used to clocking out any outside noise as they prepare for today's trip to Dingwall. Think about this, the Celtic manager has overseen a significant overhaul of the first-team squad at Celtic since arriving in June, bringing in 16 players over the two transfer windows he has been at the helm for. Name another Celtic FC manager that's had to change so many players. And the Celtic gaffer has been justified in his actions, with the Glasgow Giants currently sitting pretty at the top of the Scottish Premiership table. However, it seems as though Postacoglu is still not satisfied with the options available to him at Celtic. Celtic's reported pursuit of Bayern Munich attacking midfielder, Christopher Scott is an interesting link. Celtic FC have been linked with a move for the 19-year-old, as manager Angie Postacoglu looks to make further additions to his table-topping side in the summer. Tease an interesting link, this one. Obviously, he's a young player, only 19. He would maybe fit the bill for Celtic as he's out of contract in the summer, so he could arrive as a free agent. He's been playing for Bayern Munich's reserves, so we don't know too much about him, but at 19, he seems like an exciting attacker. At present, Tom Rogic is the only natural number 10 in Celtic set up following the departure of Ryan Christie last summer. Therefore, Scott could be seen as an ideal successor to the Australia international and Celtic will surely be eager to snap up the youngster without having to pay a penny. Celtic midfielder David Turnbull has insisted that the Parkhead players are well used to clocking out any outside noise as they prepare for today's trip to Dingwall. The post-mortem following Sunday's defeat to Rangers in the Scottish Cup semi-final at Hamden has provided the backdrop to this week with suggestions that the defeat can unnerve Celtic in the title run-in. It has been fine, he said. We have had a great week. We had the day off on Monday and we came in on Tuesday and put the game behind us. We haven't really spoken about it. We are just looking forward to the game against Ross County. We had a meeting on Tuesday, but we do that after every game. It is part of our preparations in the lead-up to a new game. The weekend was Callum McGregor getting the boys together and just getting us to all look forward to the final push of the season. The boys are all focused. We know what we need to do. Everyone is calm about it. We are taking each game as it comes and it is very much about continuing to do what we have been doing all season and just sticking to the playing our style of football. The lads always block out the outside noise. We know we just have to focus on the training pitch and in games and we always take each game as it comes. Turnbull was an integral part of the opening months of the season as he formed a midfield triumvirate with McGregor and Tom Rogic. In tears when he left the Hamden pitch in the League Cup final, the midfielder nevertheless maintained that there was never a point when he feared his season might be over. Now as Celtic go into the final five games that will define their campaign he is confident that he has something to offer. It has been good to slowly but surely get back in and get some game time and I just want more of that now, he said. I feel ready, to start. I think I have been ready for a few weeks now but the team have been doing so well I have had to bide my time. I just need to take my chance when it comes. Celtic needed a 97th minute winner the last time they were in Dingwall. Turnbull has no preference about how points come about this afternoon but cares only that three points are banked whichever way that may play out. The thing is about this Celtic manager, he is always looking forward. This is a comment of his from Friday. There are still a few areas we need to look at. We're still rebuilding and I want us to be stronger next year in terms of quality in the squad. We're in a better place than we were 12 months ago, but we still have to strengthen and that's what we'll do. And on that note have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.